Hey everybody, John here again. I got the 3D printers here at the library. This is my channel, GeoDroid John. And I'm at the library in my local makerspace. They allowed me to store some of these printers here while I'm in transition for a move. They've got two Lulzbots, a Mini and a Taz 6. And I've been teaching them how to do stuff and they've been letting me bring some of my projects by. I got some of my best prints here. People come by and ask questions about. And I, two of my best working printers right here from GearBest. This is the test of the Make Magazine test prints on the Tron XY. I wanted to show you. I was going to do a whole video on this, but it is with on move and all, all the things going on. Just didn't have any time, but as you can see, the Tron XY does some pretty outstanding prints when it's tuned in really well. Thank you to everybody that's contributed on helping me get the best prints I can get out of this. Made some suggestions. I really do appreciate all the advice. There's a brand new cooling fan that you'll see. How I put it on and it's in design or not designed it, downloaded it and got it from somebody else. So here's the time lapse of me installing it. Thank you guys and please subscribe if you like this kind of video and I'll see you next time. So the fan shroud is held on together with two screws on each side. Go ahead and screw remove those first with the Phillips head screwdriver. <clears throat> Keep those in a tray. You don't want to lose those. On the back side of the fan shroud, you'll see four nuts and four bolts on the outside. Go ahead and remove all those. Be careful not to lose any of these. You might not find them again if you drop them on the floor. Okay, once that's out, you can start with the next step. Set that aside. You got your fan shroud that you're going to install now. You can go ahead and put that on. Just reverse the steps you just did to remove the metal one. Be careful not to crack the plastic or tighten these bolts down too tight. You can crack the plastic. I've printed these in PLA and it is uh, pretty susceptible to breaking, so just don't crank down too much on it. So the fan shroud installed, now we're gonna take our part can part, ah, we're gonna take our part fan cooling duct, and we're gonna install it onto the actual extruder cooling duct. You're gonna need a square nut or a really thin M3 nut, you're gonna squeeze it into that spot, and a bolt is not really lined up really well. It could be improved on this part, but you'll, you'll squeeze it in. Use a uh, Allen key or a screwdriver, depending on your type of nut and bolt you're using. Tighten it up just a little bit. You still want it to be a little bit loose so you can adjust it as you go. Again, don't, don't tighten this down too much or you might crack the part. Now you're gonna go ahead and slide that back onto where the fan shroud was before. It is a tight fit. Be careful with your, your wires, especially your temperature wires and your, your heater wires. You don't want to crack or put those on any pressure. So be careful when you're installing this. As you can see here, it's actually really hard to get in the way of installing that. So I went ahead and I just removed it again. <laughs> then I put the nut back on and then reinstalled the part cooling fan. Lesson learned. So with that reinstalled, nice and snug, I went and grabbed the new fan. Got the new fan right here. I found it in a parts bin. It's the same 40 millimeter fan. You might want to get like a, the Nocturnal one that they installed in the new Prusas. Just like any other fan so far, just install it with the nuts and the bolt in the back. It actually has set screws in the back, so it's easy to do. I only installed two bolts on this because I didn't feel like I needed four, and it held together nicely. I chose this fan because it already had a wire connecting it. And inside the electronics box, you want to make sure you select the right one inside of here because I ended up using the wrong one and it didn't work out so much for me. So I wired it all up and I ran it just through a test. I ended up just using masking tape to keep the connectors together until I can solder them together in a, in a better way. So wire management and I think this is where I start the test. I'm going to heat it up and see what we can do. Okay, turn on the printer. The fan will always be running. That's good. Now I'm just locating the file where it actually lets me turn on the, the part fan. And apparently there's a problem. So I'm going to dig inside there. I'm going to mess with it a little bit. Make sure I have the right one in. Turns out I had it on the, on the wrong one. And now it seems to be working. Go ahead and put all that stuff back together. Tore apart all this tape, find out what the problem was. Figured it out, it turned out I just had it connected to the wrong one, wrong way. Back together. But it's been working, I'm testing it, I'm turning it on and off. And it works. There you go, it's all done. Nice little part cooling fan. 
And I'll actually the next parts I'm going to print are a new print of this exact same model, just in a different. Your parts might look really good when you get done. I did a bridging test before, and I'll do a bridging test after. 